we've actually um, been teed up with one of my chefing mates from old from the old chefing days, and he's um, a young lad over here. Well, he's not a young lad. Well, I guess he's young compared to me. Younger than me. Who runs a very successful catering company up here in the Riverland, and he's been using our honey on his on some of his dishes. And I asked him if we can go over and check out what he's up to, and he'd give us some cool ideas of what to do with honey because he's a, like a in the game chef and still hardcore. Here we are at PK's kitchen down Peter Kent here, who's a blooming master chef around the Riverland, and he's actually having a crack at using our honey, and he's making this cool duck honey dish and some wicked ass honey carrots. And so we thought we'd come over here and he can actually explain to us how it's done. So thanks, Pete. Thank you. Yeah, thank, thank you, you Mark. <laughs> yeah, look, uh, I'll say it a bit, a little bit different to what you did. Oh, I'm sure uh, I will. Because we've got a beautiful product. Uh, and when you've got a great product, uh, you know, you, there's not much you have to do to it. So what I thought I'd do today is make a brisketta. So, oh, you know, really, yeah, sure. uh, and, and really simple. So I've, got, I've already toasted a little bit of brioche. Yep. Uh, I've got a duck breast cooking, so we cook yep. the fat out, render the yep. fat down. Yep. Um, cool. And uh, so that's already sous vide anyway. So that's yep. pretty yep. It's cooked. So all I have to do is warm it through. And so I'm going to glaze it. I'm going to glaze the pan and the duck with the uh, beautiful honey, uh, uh, yep. the uh, bush bee honey. Yep. And um, and then I'm going to serve it with some honey glazed carrots, a bit of citrus, so local products, uh, you know, beautiful yep. mandarin, fresh at the moment, some lovely persimmon, sure. uh, a bit of green leaf, and finish yep. off with an almond and uh, sherry vinaigrette. Cool, almond. Yeah. Well. So, the, so of course the citrus is to cut through the, the sweetness and, the, and yeah, the, 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 and a bit, a bit of the fatness of the, uh, yeah, the duck, the and, the duck yeah. um, and then the, and then the sweetness of the uh, honey yeah. will, yeah. will balance the dish beautifully. So really, really quite a simple dish. Yeah. Um, and like I said, you know, when you've got hero products like yeah. that, uh, there's not much you have to do with uh, yeah. food. It, it, uh, it sorts itself out. The cool thing about being a, I guess a, a real chef is, like you say, just the, the food does its own thing or comes together. But it's, it's not, it's, right. it makes it sound really simple, but of course you've got to know what flavours go together. That's right. Yeah. But, but if you do have, as a, you know, as a baker, if you've got a great product, I can't, I shouldn't ruin it, it'll be my fault if it doesn't taste very good. <laughs> I've messed it up, but when you've got a great product like this, yeah. uh, it, you know, that, that's done yeah. most of the work for you. Yeah. And, and keep it simple, you know, keep your flavour simple, don't over... You know, don't and over it's carried away. Right. Yeah, yeah, that's right, exactly. Yeah. Let the and honey you, and the ducks you grow know, anyway, yeah. being a chef yourself. Yeah. The duck's virtually done. We've got a yeah. nice crisp uh, skin, Beautiful. so I've rendered mm -hmm. most of the fat off, so yeah. a, lot, a lot of the... Uh, uh, a lot of the fat now is, is gone, um, yep. but the flavour of the uh, stuff yep. fat is beautiful, really yeah, nice. For sure. uh, if you do, you know, just a little helpful hint, if you do have any left, any gut yep. fat, yep. reserve it, strain it, reserve it, cook your, your potatoes in it, mm -hmm. save it for carrots, you know, with, with the yeah. honey, uh, yeah. they're, they're beautiful, so don't, don't throw that away. Yeah, absolutely right. I've got a whole, I've got a little container full of duck fat in my house, it's oh, all the same sort of thing. Perfect, perfect yeah. Yeah. It's going to be white hip pops actually, you know those yeah, coffee yeah, pops yeah, that yeah, come yeah. in, I'm straight into that. We just glaze the pan, alright, with a bit of the honey. So you don't need too much, because it's a beautiful flavour, so it's, I don't want it to be too strong. Stir it around for a little bit. I want to add my carrots now. Yep. So these are part cooked, or three quarters of the way cooked. Yep. So you still want a little bit of bite, for a little bit of lump, so yeah, you know, yeah, it's yeah. not... So what we call texture. Exactly right. Not like Nana's carrots that didn't have any texture. No, think, that's right. I don't know what just... they used to do to our veggies, but <laughs> no, they weren't real popular. No. Yeah, so you want that little bit of crunch in it, and that's yeah. what, yeah, like I said, you know, as a chef yeah. terminology, yeah. it's a bit, a bit of crunch to the, uh, yep. bit of crunch to the dish. Yep, yep. So it's cooked to the right. That's right, right exactly, yeah, yeah. that's right. So I'll just warm up that little uh, brioche, our, our base. Mm. Um, if, you, if you're gluten-free or whatever, you know, you can get gluten-free yeah. bread. All right, so to assemble, Really simple. I just put the uh, the croute or the bruschetta base yep. on the uh, plate. All right. Yep. So I just I've just put in a couple of persimmon. Um, these are really nice local yep. persimmon, um, and not not a strong flavour. Uh, they've got uh, I guess an apple sort of texture. Yep. Um, they have. They're and actually it's cool to fry them because when you eat them naturally out like I guess straight off the tree or whatever, they're a bit of a different taste in fruit. Yeah, that's right. They are. <laughs> they're not. But just warm through in that honey. Yep. And yep. a little bit of duck fat goes really well. I like the way chefs, when they plate stuff up really cool and they call it rustic, I mean, you know. Yeah. I, as a chef, I always had trouble with the plating part of things making things look cool. So that was... Oh, that's, yeah. that's why you call it rustic. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's exactly yeah. right, which is kind of cool. So that beautiful uh, bush bee mm. flavoured duck breast with a crisp texture. Yeah. All right, so then just a little bit of the local mandarin. Just, uh, yeah, you can use orange, uh, you yeah. know, or even uh, grapefruit. 
Uh, yeah. works well, but I just need a little bit of mandarins. Yep, since they're in season at the yep, minute. Yep, they're in season, that's correct. Uh, always, always nice to use seasonal product. Some uh, uh, sorrel, parsley, coriander, yep. whatever. It, it's just a, like a garnish and a salad to yep. go on top. Yep. All right, and that gives the colour. Let it fall like the... Uh, yep. The so six six nice that's it, that beautiful word, rustic. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, a little bit of sherry vinegar into the uh, honey and the duck fat. And this yep. just makes like a little dressing. You're making me hungry. <laughs> I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> and a few of our local beautiful almonds. Once again, you know, another great local product here in the Riverland. Yeah. And uh, finish yeah, off with the, uh, the old flour. Oh, uh, look at that. Just for a bit of colour. Fabulous. Yeah. And there you have it. You've got uh, beautiful uh, Bushby, Bushby uh, honey glazed duck. Yep. Uh, yep. The honey glazed carrots with the citrus and almonds bruschetta. Oh, oh, tell you what, there you go. You know, have a crack at making that at home. Maybe send us the photos if you have a go at making it. <laughs> awesome, yeah. thanks Pete, thanks. that's marvellous. I tell you, you what, I was just thinking it's earlier on, I remember like in the chefing days, when you go to all that trouble, you get this stuff plated up gorgeous, which I think that's gorgeous, you'll call it rusty, but I think that's amazing. And then the waiter picks it up and it goes, blue, and you go, oh my! And, and that's, that's, when the, that's when Gordon Ramsay steps yeah, in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's, when you, that's when you hear from the kitchen, don't do that! <laughs> uh, let's, have a, let's have a crack at this. Yeah, please do, have a I try. I we should have a go. Yeah, yeah. We'll give you a knife and a fork too. Thank we look, you. We look all official. Where do we go? We'll cut a little bit off here. Yeah. Oh. I'm just going to have a little bit of that with a little bit of this for a start. Make, Make sure you get a little bit of everything so that yeah. you know you get that sweet and sour from yeah. the uh, citrus, the sherry vinegar, to the, yeah. that beautiful honey that will balance it all up. If you don't, then you know sometimes dishes aren't balanced. So, yeah, so you've yeah. got to make sure the the, the idea we put a lot of different products on one plate is that yeah. it all yeah. comes together and makes one meal. Yes, uh, one yeah. So yeah, it's important so. that you get a little bit of everything. Now remember that when you're in the restaurant, That's the chef's right. gone to a lot of work to actually get a little bit of everything so on your plate. Make sure you've got big enough fork to put it all <laughs> on, <laughs> and a big enough mouth exactly to put it all right. on at once. Mm. Yum yum yum. Yeah. How, to, how to destroy a meal? Oh. Hey, what? I wonder. I wonder if we could we could find a little place to hide in the corner of the kitchen. We might just hang around. Could do. Just over there by the kitchen. <laughs> yeah, sink. Yeah, 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 that's, that's yeah. about what I did. <laughs> <laughs> mm, the flavour of that honey really does come through. Mm. That's beautiful. Mm, mm, mm. Yum, 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 yum. Lovely. That is great. Save something for the cameraman. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, thanks, Pete. Thank That's you. That's fantastic. Thank, thank, you. thank, thank you, you very much for your time. Thank you and for such, uh, you know, producing such a great product here in the Riverland. Oh, well, no worries at all. Thank you for using it.